hi guys welcome to brains and the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're only but goody thank you for staying tuned to your girl so in today's video we're going to be talking about paulette wilson and she is a campaigner for the wind rush generation she has unfortunately passed away so i want to give you guys her story and say condolence to her family and to everyone that knew her and let's get into it it says paulette wilson a grandmother who campaigned for justice for people wrongly targeted by british government crackdown on immigrants from commonwealth countries that became known as the windrush scandal has died suddenly at age 64. wilson died thursday her friend patrick vernon said the cause of death has not yet been determined Wilson came to Britain from Jamaica as a child and later spent time working as a cook from the House of Commons. She eventually became one of the most prominent faces of the recent campaign demanding compensation for legal residents from the Caribbean and other former British colonies who were threatened with deportation under rules introduced in 1992 to make Britain a hostile environment for illegal immigrants. Wilson was 10 years old when she arrived in Britain in the late 1960s and grew up with her grandparents in Central English community of Wolverhampton. She was sent to Yarlswood Correctional Center under threat of deportation after failing to convince authorities she had the right to remain in Britain, Vernon said. I have to say her spirit was broken by the government vernon said the windrush scandal rocked britain in 2018 when, when the guardian newspaper published a series of stories about long-term residents who had lost their jobs homes and rights to medical care before they couldn't produce paperwork providing their rights to live in the uk and some were detained and unknown number were actually deported and it's sad that they were deported because a lot of windrush generation were deported to jamaica and if the caribbean community did not come together and make their voices be heard in the uk and all abroad then a lot more would have been deported so shout out to them for standing up and doing what is right i also do know that i need the windrush generation that was wrongly deported to any country they need to be con compensated um or they need to get it fixed because i know of one man story in jamaica and it's sad it's very sad because they're literally deported with nothing and they were wrongly deported and it seems like they're not going to do anything about it the Guardian Chronicle Wilson fight to remain in the country. She was just an ordinary working class woman, minding her own business, raising her family, working approaching later life, approaching retirement, and then to be subjected to two spells of detention in basically prisons without any time limits and the threat of deportation. Vernon said, she exposed her vulnerability i think a lot of people identified with that and for her to actually say she's never been back to her homeland since she was 10 years old it's showing how vulnerable she was at the time because she didn't have any connection to the place they were trying to deport her to they became known as the windrush generation named after the ship empire windrush which brought the first large group of post-war caribbean immigrants to britain when the government decided to get tough on illegal immigrants, it demanded that immigrants prove that they had the right to be in the country. But some Windrush era migrants, especially those who arrive as children on their parents' passports, were targeted because they no longer had the documents needed to provide when they entered the country. The nation was appalled by the stories of how the government treated people like Wilson who had gone to school in Britain, worked and raised families and then fa face expulsion. Home Secretary Amber Rudd was forced to resign after the scandal emerged. I don't feel British. I am British. I've been raised here. All I know is Britain. What the hell can I call myself except British, Wilson said to The Guardian in 2017. I'm still angry that I have to prove it. I feel angry that I will... I feel angry that I have to go through this. 
Wilson fought for justice until the end. She and Vernon last month delivered to the Prime Minister's office a petition signed by more than 130,000 people that called for action to address the government's failings. The petition also demanded swift payments for victims, many of whom are struggling to file the paperwork needed to claim the compensation eventually offered by the government. Vernon said the Home Office, which, which enforced the hostile environment policy, should not be running the compensation process, that he was outraged by Home Secretary, Secretary Preeti Patel's decision to post a tweet offered condolences to Wilson's death. By the end of the day, there are going to be so much anger in the community about how she been treated, Vernon told the British Press Association news agency. She was like a gem, a precious gem who got broken by the government. And that is the end of her story. So condolence goes out to Paulette Wilson and all the Windbrush generation who was fighting alongside her and trying to make stuff happen. If they want to honor her, especially the British government and whoever is tweeting condolence to her death, if they want to honor her and honor her life, they need to do what she was fighting while she was alive for. They need to compensate the people that they basically imprisoned wrongfully they need to compensate the people the unknown number of people that they deported to caribbean islands and compensate them also they need to also have their paperwork reinstated so they can go back to Brit britain whenever they feel like or go back to britain to live because they were wrongly deported and i know it may seem like we're asking that's asking a lot but in the grand scheme of things it's not a lot they went there on their family's members passport without proper documentation and they grew up there they lived there their whole life i'm sure they were probably paying taxes i'm sure they were paying to live there they weren't living free there so it's only right that they do the right thing and honor paulette wilson's name um i know this is probably very hard for the family seeing that she's only 64 year, years old but one thing i noticed when i watched that documentary with her and i noticed this with a lot of caribbean peoples especially our caribbean women we find it in ourselves that we feel like we need to be superwoman and we need to work ourselves into the ground to help our families or to better 37 years of paying taxes and i got a letter saying that i was a legal immigrant to our children but we need as a people especially caribbean people to know when it's time for work and when it's time to relax and Hold on, I'm actually texting my husband. Because we have a tendency to overwork ourselves. We need to have plans as far as stopping working at a certain time and enjoying retirement. We need to prioritize our health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually when we go to these other countries and work ourselves to death because that's what we essentially do. A lot of these Caribbean people, when they come to USA, Canada, Britain, they work two and three and four and five jobs to help themselves meet and meet and help their, peer, their friends and family back home. So we need to make time as a people to take care of ourselves. And I really, last year, had to think about this, especially with what I was doing. I'm gonna give you guys a prime example. I had Kai, I was going to school, I was being a mom and a wife, and I was uploading every single day on here, here on YouTube. I literally was about to have a mental breakdown because I was, go I was putting myself through so much 
all at once and not taking care of myself i was just going 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 and i didn't know when to stop and i had to force myself like snap out of it like you're only one person you only get 24 hours stop working yourself to death because if you're not okay then your household is not going to be okay your child is not going to be okay your husband is not going to be okay and i had to dial it back all the way so if you need to dial it back do so but prioritize your health so condolence goes out to paulette wilson and all the will rush generation that has lost a true gem a true true definition of a fighter because that's what she is like comment share and subscribe leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one deuces